If you want to make your exercises into a 30 minute routine, there's a couple different ways that you can think about starting. The first thing is, do you want to work your lower body, in which case you're just going to be doing your lower body exercises? Do you want to work just your upper body, in which case you're just going to choose your upper body exercises? Or are you doing a total body workout? If you're not sure what you want to do, think about how many times per week you're going to do the workout. So if you want to work out five days a week, then you can't do total body, total body, total body, total body. Your body needs recovery time, your muscles need recovery time, usually like 24 to 48 hours in between. So that means if I'm going to work my upper body on Monday, I wouldn't also want to do an upper body workout on Tuesday necessarily. So I could do an upper body Monday and a lower body Tuesday. Or maybe I'm going to do total body Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Just make sure that you're not always doing the same exercises on consecutive days. Number two is how are you going to order your exercises? For example, if you want to do a workout that's pretty non-stop, which I recommend because that allows you to burn more calories overall and you're going to keep your heart rate up and it's just going to shave off a lot of time at the gym then you could choose exercises that work opposing muscle groups. So for example, I'm gonna just do lower body on Monday, but I don't wanna take a lot of rest in between each exercise. Then I'm gonna do an exercise with my legs that involve pushing, followed by an exercise that involves more of a pulling action. So that means that while I'm doing the push, my pulling muscles get a little bit of a break, and then while I'm doing the pull, my pushing muscles get a little bit of a break. And I can just keep moving through my workout. So that would be like doing a squat, and then some sort of hamstring exercise. A squat, and then some sort of hamstring exercises. Uh, same goes with the upper body. If you're just gonna do upper body, do a pushing exercise followed by a pulling exercise. It's also important to think about this because you wanna maintain balance. If you only work the pushing muscles, you're gonna end up with a weak back and vice versa. So I could do a push up followed by a pull up, push up followed by a pull up. If you're doing total body, you can do upper body to lower body, upper body to lower body, and that's a great way to get through the workout quickly, keep your heart rate up, burn more calories. So that would be like doing some sort of lower body based move, like a squat, like a leg press, immediately followed by a push up or a shoulder press. So while I'm working my upper body, my lower body is getting the rest and vice versa, and I can keep moving. I definitely recommend this over what you'll see normally at the gym, which is somebody doing exercise and then reading a magazine for three minutes or updating their Facebook status or talking to their friend and they're really just not maximizing their time, their heart rate's probably dropping and the workout overall is going to be less effective. So ordering your exercises in a way in which you can just keep moving through, get a high calorie workout in, is going to be the best way to probably get the most bang for your buck.